YouTube, what's going on? As you guys know, I am True True. Today I have a really crazy video I want to talk to you guys about. But before we get to the video, make sure you guys go ahead, drop a like on the video, comment down in the comment section. I subscribed. I'm gonna be replying to a couple of you guys randomly throughout the whole entire like week, month, even year. You guys even might see me like reply to one of your comments like just completely random at a random time. Um, I, I want to like I don't know interact with you guys. I want to see what's up. I'll even check out your channel too if you guys want me to do that. Just comment below like check out my channel or I subbed and I'll try to respond to you guys but anyways today I want to be talking to you guys about one of the craziest mysteries in Minecraft Pocket Edition history and that involves Jack Frost Miner so if you guys don't know who Jack Frost Miner is he is actually I would say by far one of the biggest and best Minecraft Pocket Edition YouTubers out there and it's crazy because even before a lot of the most recent updates including the 0.15.0 update which was back in this past summer and of course the 0.16.0 update there's been a lot of new Minecraft Pocket Edition YouTubers that have been coming into the scene including myself you know I of course I've been uploading Minecraft for quite a number of years now and it's crazy because over like the past like I don't know six seven months I started uploading a lot of Minecraft Pocket Edition I really do appreciate you guys that have been really like taking me into the community I really really do appreciate every single one of you guys that's been supporting my videos of course in this whole new adventure I've been doing in Minecraft Pocket Edition however though it's crazy because Jack Frost Miner is one of the biggest Minecraft Pocket Edition YouTubers in North America. And what I mean by this is, of course, he's not the biggest one now. I think the biggest one now has like almost or close to 200 or 2 million subscribers. But Jack Frost Miner has a million subscribers, which is absolutely insane, especially for a Pocket Edition YouTuber. So, anyways, if you guys don't know, Jack used to post videos almost every day. His biggest series, of course, was his Let's Play. And every once in a while, he'd do mod showcases. He would do some crazy streams and some awesome, awesome awesome videos for Minecraft Pocket Edition. Of course now, it's weird and very strange because ever since he really hit a million subscribers, he's been super, super slow on uploads. He hasn't been uploading nearly as much as he used to, and it actually worries me because I just hope that everything's all right with Jack because I'm a big fan of him. I was watching a lot of his Let's Plays before I actually even started uploading Minecraft Pocket Edition on a regular basis, and honestly, I just hope the best for Jack because he is such a great, great YouTuber, such a great influencer in this Minecraft Pocket Edition community, and I really hope for the best of him. However, though, it's been kind of weird because his Twitter has been super inactive, too. He's been tweeting a lot less, and the stuff he's been tweeting kind of makes sense of why he's been uploading pretty slow. So, it kind of started all in September when the school year started. And, of course, he does go to college, I believe. I'm not sure what university he goes to, but he does attend school. And myself, I am a student, and I know exactly how much time YouTube really takes up from uploading videos and obviously you have to have priorities you have to have school become first before any hobbies if you guys are doing youtube of course i know a lot of you guys are youtubers yourself and you guys know how hard and how complicated it is to balance school work social work um family life you guys know how it is with youtube and it kind of slows things down for everyone you know of course it would be awesome to be able to upload videos whenever you wanted all the time and you can actually work on videos like throughout the day but of course if you guys are a college student or high school student or middle school elementary student um, that's kind of like just the grades in the United States I don't know how they are I know it's a little bit different in like the UK I think there's like uni uh, college is like our high school I, it's a little bit uh, primary secondary school it's, it's so different in the UK so let me know guys if you guys are from the UK how does that school system work I'm not too familiar with it I'm only really familiar with how the United States um, school system works too also if you guys live in Mexico or any other country please let me know how your school system works and how uh, how many hours you guys have in a day uh, to put into schoolwork time so Anyways, though, coming back to Jack Frost Miner, he was 
very very slow at uploading like I mentioned before obviously because of all his schoolwork that he's been doing and it kind of makes me also think to kind of checking out his other Twitter stuff he's been streaming on an, an app called show you and uh, or sh show I think it's like show you TV I've never watched a stream of his on that app I've never been on that app myself um, however though I got a feeling that with the show you they probably is like assigned to a contract with streaming with them I know my Bob Crush signs uh, some special YouTubers to, to go stream on them, and I got a feeling that maybe Show You was offering him a pretty awesome contract for him to sign onto with Show You, so he'd actually stream with Show You rather than stream on Mob Crush or YouTube. So it kind of makes me also think that maybe he was putting more effort into his stream rather than his videos, which is pretty cool. I always like watching live streams. I have not watched any of his streams like I mentioned before. However, though his videos would really reflect on an awesome stream that he'd be having having to but overall it just kind of makes you think kind of makes you kind of like ponder and, and wonder what's going to happen to your favorite youtuber when all of a sudden they become so i don't know attached to a certain or a different hobby or all of a sudden they start going to uh, take more classes go take our school a lot more serious maybe you guys might find your favorite youtuber kind of fade away and that kind of scares me in a way because personally i hate to see youtubers leave especially jack frost minor he was such a huge 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 youtuber in this community and he really made this community grow especially from the beginning days of minecraft pocket edition and the fact that we've been seeing minecraft pocket edition for five years makes me really think about what's going to happen in the future of minecraft pocket edition youtubers who is going to be like the biggest north american uh, minecraft pocket edition youtuber i think it was kind of crazy to think about how crazy and how different things are going to be within the next couple of months also too Jack's been uploading some videos. I know he made some pop sockets. He's been working a lot on his merchandise too, which is pretty awesome. Um, being a YouTuber myself, I would love to make my own merchandise. The pop sockets are something we've never seen before. It's like a like a thing you can actually attach to your phone, and you can like save. Um, or you can hold on to it, attach to your like wires. Especially if you guys have an iPhone 7 or something like that, it makes things a lot easier for you to use. But it's kind of a different route. How he took uh, more of his merchandise and like pop sockets. Of course, he still has some other merchandise available you guys can actually get from him which is pretty sick but of course though it always 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 makes me wonder exactly what jack is going to be doing in the future is he going to continue youtube will he come back will he make an epic return we're gonna have to wait and see and until then i hope the best for jack i'm a huge huge fan of jack and personally i cannot wait for him to come back if he does come back in minecraft pocket edition community but anyways though my name is true Triz. i hope you guys did enjoy this video once again let me know guys if you guys are a fan of jack frost minor because i think he's such a great influence to the community and i cannot wait for his return but anyways my name is true Triz. have an awesome day and remember stay true peace Make sure to subscribe if you guys have not already and hit the little gear button to turn on notifications. Once you guys do that, you guys will be alerted every single time I upload. Have an awesome day. Stay true. Peace. Bring it back. Don't be shy, go and subscribe. Go.